welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're over on the YouTube account and that is right guys, the new patch is up. So we have availability to the new hero. We do get our uh, 50 time emblems. So a lot of players were asking where these are at. They're literally on the front page in the events um, that you can go ahead <clears throat> and you can claim your 50 time emblems out of here, which is awesome. We've been farming a lot of these up. So kind of on the fence at this point with building the new hero. I, I would wait, honestly, seven to 10 days. And I say this every single time, guys. Um, this is probably one of the most, probably one of the biggest questions that we get is when you're looking at the Awakened Heroes, guys, the number one priority right now is still the Awakened version of Solus. Um, we've seen it on guides, we've seen it on maps. When you look at AFK Arena in its entirety, there is not really any formations that would not utilize or do not utilize the Awakened version of Solus. The Abyssal Expedition, the Hunting Fields, the Rift, the Grand Hunt, even looking at the Cursed Realm, the Twisted Realm, um, everywhere this hero is seeing a lot of utility, a lot of gameplay overall. Now the second one, um, which again, we don't know exactly where the new hero is going to fall, but most players are building the Awakened version of Baden, or they're going with the Awakened version of Brutus. Um, both of them, again, have a lot of utility. Well, one is a ranger, one is a warrior. Um, they both do have a lot of utility within AFK Arena. Again, when you look at game modes, there is not very many formations that do not utilize these heroes. With that being said, though, it seems like Baden has found his spot um, as the best in slot in a bunch of different teams, including some of the, um, the Twisted Realm comps. Baden seems to have a little bit more utility. And even looking, I'm thinking um, Treasure Scramble wise, again, with three versions of the Treasure Scramble, um, Baden is usually in every single version of the Treasure Scramble. Um, same with the Cursed Realm, Baden, the Awakened version of Baden is in every single version of um, the Cursed Realm where Brutus is not in all of them. In addition, guys, when you look at the towers, kind of the, the interesting trade off with that one, is we know the Awakened version of Brutus and the Brutal Citadel is 100% absolutely required because of the Mauler heroes that we have. But same kind of falls true for the Forsaken Necropolis. Um, the Awakened version of Baden is ran if you do have them. Um, there, there are some additional substitutions within the Graveborn Tower, um, where with the Mauler Tower, you really don't have that option to actually go ahead and sub in a lot of other heroes. Because again, Looking at the faction in the entirety, when you start running two teams, when you start running three teams, um, it is incredibly difficult to get and maintain a full team of heroes through three teams. So actually essentially having 15 built Mauler heroes. Um, even when it comes to the damage wise, there's not that many heroes in here that do a lot of damage. Pretty much the top row or maybe the top four in here are, are the big, big damage dealers depending on who you have built out. So again, guys, it, it seems like Baden is going to take a little bit more priority. So going with Solus, then going with Baden, then probably going with either the Awakened version of Belinda or the Awakened version of Brutus. Um, big thing with Belinda, though, is she has an incredible amount of utility, but she works even without having her built out, which is kind of a, a very, very cool idea or caveat to her. Um, even having just one single copy of her, it does work well in a couple different game modes. A lot of players are even running her within the Temple Rift just with one single copy of her. Um, so again, it, she falls a little bit further down in that priority. Then of course, the last one, or, or actually towards the end, is the Awakened version of Thane. Reason being, guys, there are a lot of game modes where it does require a lot of the trigger that he has, um, is when enemies get to a certain hit points or enemies die. Um, with that being said, there's a lot of game modes where the enemies don't die, which is the reason, again, he's not seeing a lot of utility outside of PvP. PvP, guys, he is probably the absolute strongest. Um, both him and the Awakened version of Belinda are running the strongest teams within the Treasure Scramble. Then, of course, we have Taylene. Unfortunately, at this point, um, Taylene has very limited utility not seeing her in a lot of formations, not seeing her utilized a lot within AFK Arena. Um, it almost seems like the original version of Taylene is being used a lot more than the Awakened version of Taylene. And then of course, guys, we have Aziz, which I do not recommend building at all. I, I would literally not build him at all um, because there really is no reason. His functionality works at Legendary, just like it does being built here. 
and actually building him out was a little bit of a um a little bit detrimental when it comes to running your um hypergen tower the reason is he does not die he, he is very difficult to kill with the crowd control things of that nature so in teams where he has actually run with lucretia um he does not die meaning that lucretia doesn't get her buffs so again i wouldn't and do not recommend building him out whatsoever guys then of course we have the new hero um really kind of a, a mix so the big thing with her guys is the sp effect this is really the big one to kind of change the buffs now we talked about this for a little bit allied heroes that are not dimensionals or celestials will be regarded by materia as hypogens and receive the faction bonuses now these faction bonuses do not show up in the bonuses or in the buffs the faction buffs this is triggered when you enter combat now we got clarification from afk arena from lilith um that that is how it works guys so you can actually have the buffs within the heroes the factions um even with the hypogens and you'll notice it only says dimensionals and celestials this does not include hypogens that themselves so i'm going to show you how the buffs kind of work in just a minute these in combat buffs are based on the number of hypogens in the formation including heroes regarded as hy hypo hypogenians i think that's how you properly say it um these in combat buffs will not affect any factional bonuses in effect at the start of battle. It doesn't affect the factional bonuses because these bonuses actually go in after you've started. The affected heroes will also gain 25% damage, bo um, damage bonus against Celestials and 10, per, uh, 10 proficiency points in this battle, which means if you're in a battle where you're fighting Celestial heroes, they're going to get a 25% damage bonus which is the reason why a lot of players are saying just pick up one single copy of this hero to utilize this buff if you need to with informations um similar to what we see with the awakened version of um belinda where it, it just takes one single copy so i'm going to go ahead i'm going to pick up one copy of her looking at the heroes in their entirety guys i have one copy of baden which i did pick up that one copy so we can utilize them in a couple different game modes i'm going to pick up one copy of materia and then we're going to sit and just kind of wait. The big thing also, guys, is out of the events we have going up from Flames to Ash, so we are getting 10 cards out of here, which is awesome to see. Here in its entirety, guys, we got 12 cards out of this one. We already know the last Obsidian Fitch is giving us another 10 cards, so that brings us to 33. I believe the video is giving diamonds, so you're not getting cards out of there. So that gives us 33 plus the 50 we got here, which gives us 83 Um time emblems i know a lot of players didn't have a lot of luck with it but you also get this 20 percent discount summoning which is equivalent to another 10 cards so i mean we're getting close to 100 cards just with the hero release of what we do have going on i know at a point guys it, it's never going to be enough cards and we've kind of said this before um there, there's a point where they could give out you know more cards more cards more cards but again ultimately afk arena we want to build these heroes we want to build them up um but there is a point where you know the 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 company makes money that that's really one of the big things so dropping a new hero not giving you you know oh when a new hero drops we're going to give you 800 time emblems well it kind of defeats anyone or or the game company itself from making any money but here guys we have 88 cards belinda is done so i want one single copy now over on Reddit, we've already talked about the data. Um, doesn't make a difference if it's one pulls or 10 pulls. The pity timer is the exact same. Um, doesn't matter if it's Stargazer or if it's Temple of Time. Again, not worrying about the pity timer. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna do our summons. We get six discounted summons, but it's only for two weeks. So you have to decide exactly what you're gonna build. Again, I want one copy of her is what I'm looking to build out of here, guys. Because again, I, I want to have the ability to utilize her sp effect if i need to um which is the reason so that's what 30 cards we got a lot of so there's 40 50 see they're gonna make us and a lot of players have said this is exactly what it is guys and then this poll will give us the copy boom and there it is so there is the new hero guys um again wanted to get her unlocked we have the story we have the room um definitely wanted to kind of build this up um, we're going to see who I'm going to build because essentially out of these two guys, 
I'm going to build one of the two. So it is either going to be um, Materia that we continue to build her out or we're going to actually swap over and I'm going to build out that away conversion of Baden. Um, that is really yet to be seen. Um, again, who we're going to build at this point, I, I don't know. But I'm going to build one of the two because both of them, I, we know Baden is utilized, but I believe both of them is going, are they're going to have some utility guys um, within AFK Arena. So again, she looks absolutely amazing. Um, I want to see exactly what she can do. And again, the big thing, of course, is the level 81. So the SP effect. So we'll drop her in the resonating crystal and we'll actually have access to that effect. And again, I think... I think the SP effect is something that we're going to see utilize even if it is at a lower level um, just because of how the hero is designed, how the hero is built. And again, we're going to gear her up just like we did with Baden. But ultimately, guys, it, it seems like this SP effect is going to be very, very good. But all right, guys, so that'll do it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.